Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. These videos seem to be like your favorite types of videos like for all you guys. So I decided to make another one. I'm actually not even finished filming the video. I'm, I'm in the middle of the last day of filming this video. So it's, it's been a hectic week. For your girl but as y'all can see by the title i filmed a what i eat in a week video and i will admit that this week was lacking i feel like i don't know i feel like i'm still getting adjusted i haven't even been back to school for a month i feel like i should already be adjusted by now but honestly i'm not i'm a mess i'm not gonna lie and i i don't know i feel like i haven't really gotten myself together quite yet there are times throughout the week where my lunch is just a bag of chips and I have no excuse for that aside from laziness. I genuinely, I try so hard. <laughs> oh, I try so hard, not so hard, but I really do try to like cook most of my meals, especially when I'm filming for you guys, because I want to set like a good example. <laughs> because obviously I don't think it's healthy to eat a bag of chips as a meal replacement, but sometimes it just do be like that. And also my breakfast almost every single morning is pretty much the same. So I'm sorry if that's really boring. It's just my mornings are really busy. So I'm on the go in the morning. So I have to bring my breakfast on the go. So I apologize for that as well. Um, what else can I clarify? I also did not show you guys, but I take a B12 supplement and a vegan D3 supplement. And of course a disclaimer, my diet is not gonna work for everyone. It just works for me. It makes me happy. I'm not a professional, not a registered dietitian that stuff you guys already know I am not recommending the way I eat to anyone some people might look at my diet and be like that is the most unhealthy thing I've ever seen and I'm like you know what to each their own to each their own my friend if you think it's unhealthy and you think it's disgusting that's your opinion bro and I'm totally cool with that I'm not saying anyone has to go vegan I'm not trying to say that being vegan is like the best diet in the world or anything like that this is just a simple what I eat in a week as a vegan college student so if you guys end up enjoying this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but if you absolutely hate it then you can give it a thumbs down because that's okay too I would completely understand if that's how you felt towards it because honestly that's how I feel towards myself sometimes as well so also you know, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress if you would like. And I think that's everything out of the way. So I'm just gonna shut up and I hope you guys enjoy the video. For Monday, I had a green smoothie and this is a smoothie that I have multiple times throughout the week when I'm on the go. And it's just a frozen banana, some frozen mango, chia seeds, hemp hearts, frozen kale, some baby spinach, and one scoop of Sun Warrior vegan vanilla protein powder, and a bunch of cashew milk because I love me some thick smoothies, don't get me wrong. But when I'm on the go, I like it to be drinkable. So a lot of cashew milk and then I transfer it to a different container, reusable bottle, whatever. <laughs> I also like to have a Go Macro Bar on the side and my favorite flavor is the Heartwarming Retreat Oatmeal Chocolate Chip. And yeah, that was my breakfast for Monday. So for lunch, you guys have seen this sandwich on my channel multiple times already. And it's just two slices of bread. You can use any bread that you want. And some of these game time buffalo chicken tenders, as well as the Super Greens veggie burger from Dr. Prigger's. And then my favorite hummus of all time, y'all already know, it's the Cedars garlic hummus. So I cooked everything, toasted the bread, put the sandwich together. You guys know how to make a sandwich. And yeah, that was my lunch. <laughs> So for dinner, I was just craving some noodles, some good noodle soup. So I pan fried a bunch of vegetables as well as some kimchi. And I also pan fried some tofu. These noodles I get at the Asian grocery store that actually aren't like my favorite noodles, but they were the only ones that were there at the time. And then I also use this Thai tom yum soup base that I found. I don't know, it works fine. <laughs> and I season everything with some soy sauce. It's not Bragg's Liquid Aminos, it's just a container, but I add soy sauce to it because I like how I can spray it evenly <laughs> on everything. So it's just soy sauce, salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. I don't like to add a ton of seasonings when I make the soup just because I feel like the kimchi adds so much flavor as well as the soup base, of course.
And as you can see, I very much enjoyed it. <laughs> and then for dessert, I just had some dark chocolate pretzels that I got at Whole Foods. And that was everything I had for Monday. You are the so on Tuesday, I was in so much of a rush that I could hardly film, so I just grabbed a Go Macro Bar for on the go on my way to class. And then once I got back from class, I had a proper breakfast. So this is a tea. I got this recipe from Michelle Fawn. She calls it moon tea, I think. And it's so freaking good. I love it. So I made some tea, some Earl Grey tea. And then for breakfast, I had some oatmeal. So I like to dice up an apple and then add it to my oatmeal when it's almost done cooking. And then the apple gets really soft and the sweetness of the apple like blends in with the oatmeal. It's so good. This that you see me adding in here is just some Sun Warrior vegan vanilla protein powder. I think if you mix it on the side and then add it to the oatmeal after, it just... I don't know, it mixes better. Maybe that's just my head, I don't know. But then I also add some chia seeds, as well as some frozen blueberries, which is so good. I've been super into doing that lately, adding frozen blueberries to my oatmeal. But yeah, then I added it all to this heart-shaped bowl that I absolutely love, I got it from Home Goods, And then I added some raw almond butter from Trader Joe's, of course. And yeah, that was my breakfast. Had my oatmeal with my tea, and it was delicious. Okay, so for lunch, I, listen, I had an exam and I was doing some last minute studying because I was really stressed out and I did not want to cook. It was the last thing I wanted to do. So I had this entire bag of cheddar sour cream chips. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. I think I accidentally hit record. Please ignore my stance. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> but for dinner on Tuesday, I had some pasta and then I also cooked up this Beyond Meat vegan hot Italian sausage. I don't know why I didn't show you guys what it looked like. I cook up some pasta as well as the sausage and some mushrooms. And then I, add, I love adding hummus to my pasta. If you guys haven't tried it out, Please do, it's so good. So I mixed all that together, added some spicy marinara sauce to it, and yeah, that was kind of like my quick and easy dinner. I also roasted up some broccoli for like extra veggies on the side, and yeah, this was super easy, super quick, super simple, super good. That was my dinner for Tuesday. <laughs> And then for dessert, I had my favorite chocolate of all time, some Hue Almond Butter Puffed Quinoa Dark Chocolate. You guys have seen it so many times before. I love it. Highly recommend. <laughs> so for Wednesday, I had the same exact smoothie that you guys saw me make on Monday because again, I was on the go. And this time I changed my Go Macro Bar flavor because I was feeling wild and I brought this banana and almond butter macro bar flavor which isn't my favorite but it's still really good so that was my breakfast okay guys so I just got back from class and I had an exam and I'm just feeling drained I have so much work to do right now and I'm not in the mood to cook at all so I'm going to order some food via uber eats not sponsored Wish I was though. I think I'm gonna do Vietnamese food. I'm gonna get it from this place. I think I showed you my last what I eat in a week video. I'm pretty sure. Peanut dressing, obviously, get some hoisin. This is not an attractive angle. I'm so sorry. I'm like totally hunched over. <laughs> Add to cart. 30 to 40 minutes. Should be here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So when that get here, when that, blah, 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 blah. I've had a day, okay? <laughs> when that gets here, I'll show you guys. I love me some good Vietnamese food. What is your favorite cuisine? Leave that in the comments below. I wanted to do someone, this has nothing to do with like cuisines by the way, um, but someone had commented the idea of I eat my subscribers like recipes for a day or for a week or something like that and I thought that would be super fun. I really wanna do that. I don't know if I have enough subscribers to do it. I'm hoping I do. So if you guys want to see that video, leave, down below any recipes. You don't have to veganize it and it doesn't have to be a vegan recipe. I'll try to veganize it if I can. Extra points, bonus points though, if you have an already vegan recipe because that would make my life a lot easier. It doesn't matter. I'm really going on a tangent. <laughs> this is just me procrastinating because I have so much work to do. Okay, I'll get to that and then I'll show you guys my lunch when it gets here. 
Okay. Yay, the food is here, finally. I'm so hungry. So I have the two fresh rolls in here that I am so excited to eat. I love their rolls, they're so good. And they are thick. These rolls are thick, just like mine. <laughs> is the salad, which I am also very excited about. Oh, that looks so pretty. Yes, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm starving. It's so good. Peanut sauce. Mm. 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 That is very much adequate. <laughs> So for dinner, this is one of my favorite dinners, honestly, of all time. It's just so filling and satisfying and I love it. So I roasted up some vegetables. I roasted some red onion and this really cool like striped bell pepper. I've never seen it before, but I found out sprouts and I found it very intriguing. So I just seasoned that with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And then I air fried some baby gold Dutch potatoes with the same exact seasonings. And I also added a little bit of olive oil to those. And then I pan fried some broccoli, zucchini, and mushroom. And also pan fried the uh, hot Italian Beyond Meat vegan sausage thing. I basically just throw all of that into a bowl and then I ha like to have my cedars garlic hummus on the side and what I do is I just will put my fork inside the cedars garlic hummus so I have a little bit of hummus with each bite of food and I'm telling you guys it's so good. <laughs> and then for dessert, I had this other flavor of the Hue Chocolate Bar brand. And it's cashew butter and raspberry jelly dark chocolate. It's very delicious. So for Thursday, I decided to have another one of my favorite breakfasts of all time, which is just some yogurt, some fruit, and granola. I feel like this is the breakfast that I go for when it's boiling hot outside because oatmeal is, you know, like I don't really want to have oatmeal when it's 100 degrees outside. So this is the breakfast I go for. And it's just some yogurt with this vegan Vivo Life banana cinnamon protein powder, some chia seeds and hemp hearts, of course, and cinnamon, I mix that all together, and then I add some Kamut puffs, this nut butter banana granola that I found at Sprouts, and it's one of my favorite granolas of all time. It's so good. And then I also add some frozen blueberries and some frozen blackberries. I've been really into blackberries lately. And then I also just add a little bit of cashew milk to, because when you add the frozen fruit, it the frozen fruit freezes the yogurt and the milk helps it out. I, you know. And yeah, that was my breakfast, as well as some tea. I made the same exact tea as I did in the other day, except I used chai tea instead of Earl Grey, and it was still really good. So this is just me snacking on some crackers and hummus as I wait for my lunch to cook, which is the same exact sandwich I had on Monday. It's just the chicken tenders with the super greens patty and blah, 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 blah. And then I also had the butt of the bread as a snack, the end of the bread, the butt of the bread, I don't know, because, why not? <laughs> so I had that sandwich and then I also had some pop chips, some barbecue pop chips on the side, which are like my favorite chips of all time. And for dinner, I decided to try something new. I had this cauliflower and spinach gnocchi from the Green Giant brand. I don't know, I've never had it before. So I figured it'd be worth a shot. Oh my God, I didn't record. Uh, it's shit. I already added in some cedars garlic hummus and now I'm adding in this uh, vegan nut cheese alfredo. I found this at Sprouts and I haven't tried it yet. I took a little taste, but I haven't actually tried it in a dish. I also have never tried that cauliflower gnocchi before, so I hope it tastes good. There's the final product and let's give her a taste. It smells really good. Mmm! Oh, I like that. Now let's try a gnocchi. Mmm! You know what's really good? I think the texture would have been better if I like pan fried it, but the instructions said to boil it because the flavor is really good. But I think it would have been better if I pan fried them. Or maybe I just overcooked them. Who knows? But they're good. And then for dessert, I had about half of this square <laughs> of banana nut chocolate. For Friday, I had a very similar breakfast, except for instead of mango, I added this triple berry mix, 
but aside from that it's the same exact smoothie and it was very very delicious i don't even know if i like the frozen berry one or the frozen mango one more i can't even tell but they're both very good but i will say that the frozen berry one is a lot prettier in my opinion so yeah i had that for breakfast as well as a go macro bar once again and i had the flavor peanut butter chocolate chip which is again not my favorite flavor i still love the heartwarming treat the most but yeah this was still good okay so for lunch i'm honestly just gonna have this entire bag <laughs> i'm just gonna eat this because i just get editing this video and I don't have time to cook myself a proper meal um, but I also want to use this time to give a huge shout out to Enlightened because they sent me this giant box that was originally full but I ate like half of the stuff in here but look at this thing look at the packaging this is adorable I love it and again this box was filled to the brim but they sent a bunch of snack sized little bada beam bada boom things in all these different flavors my favorite flavors were like the nacho cheesy one i think that's what it was called the jalapeno one i loved that one and there was uh, i think it was buffalo wings i think that was the one. Oh my god those were so good i went through those so quick so i love enlightened um this is not sponsored by the way they just heard that i really liked their products and they sent me a dm on instagram they were like hey do you want us to send you some? And I was like, yes, like I, yes. <laughs> Huge shout out to them because it was just super nice to send them to me for just to be nice. Like they didn't ask for anything in return. So shout out to Enlightened. And yeah, I really love these things. As you can tell, I'm literally gonna have this entire bag for my lunch. So I thought I'd use that time to also give them a huge shout out. And yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch try to edit as much as i can of this video and then hopefully i'll like think of something decent for dinner hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed no promises though and then for dinner i had some black bean noodles which i had in my first what i eat in a week video so i will link that video in a card so you guys can go watch that if you want to see how i make it but yeah this is one of my favorite dinners of all time i love black bean noodles so much i wish i had different noodles because these noodles weren't like the best for it but it's fine it worked out anyways so stir fried some vegetables black bean noodles some pan fried tofu Mwah. beautiful <laughs> delicious and then for dessert i just had like three of these mini dark chocolate peanut butter cups from justin's which are some of my favorite peanut butter cups i love them highly recommend. <laughs> okay, and that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. But if you absolutely hated it, of course, you can give this video a thumbs down because that's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content. Bye, yours truly. If you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are so, so valid. And I am so grateful and happy that you are alive. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.